Hey guys, it's Paul from IEO, and today I'm doing a short review, hopefully short, of my new iPod Shuffle, third generation. And I've been using it for three days now, and I have to say it is the smallest iPod slash MP3 I've ever had. The smallest I actually had was the second gen iPod Shuffle. And before that, I also had the iRiver, and that was also small. I think it was like double or triple the size of this. Again, um, I'm actually happy with this. I'm actually I'm surprised how Apple actually made it so small. It's the size of like a AA battery. Um, thinness, thickness is probably as, as small as like a a AAA battery. But again, it's very small. I mean, I actually like it. I like how they have the metal, metal right here, and just the plastic. And I'm, I'm actually surprised there's no buttons on this, uh, except for the hold, actually, the turn off slash hold, and then you also have the run, you know, just go through the whole track in the same order, and there's also the shuffle mode. You could create playlists, which I did, because I don't want to go through like a thousand songs and find what I actually want. So I actually put all my songs in a playlist for music that I want to use to study, when I'm in the gym, you know, when I'm at home doing nothing and I'm just bored, listen to like rock or, you know, rap or whatever. Um, Again, the music quality is actually, it's decent for an iPod. It's about the same quality as like an iPod Nano, except it doesn't have a display or any buttons. Um, podcasts, I actually have a podcast. Uh, I'm listening to a youth, pa oh, he's a pastor, uh, Joel Olstein or Austin, however you pronounce his last name. And he's a really good preacher, so you know my mom recommended me to listen to it since I don't really go to church. I've been too lazy. I know I'm really bad, but you know just listen to some podcasts on this. I think it's po is that called podcasts or audio books? Whatever it is. Um, again, audio quality is decent. There's really no review for video since there's no video on this. Um, what else? Oh, one bad thing is you cannot use your headphones, like your own headphones. You actually have to use the included headphones, which is with the little volume slash clicker. And the way you use this is, yeah, if you want to like a to skip a track or go to the next track, you have to double click the middle. There's all there's three clicks. I don't know if you can see this right there. I'm listening to it right now, but anyways, here's the button right here. Here's the volume decrease and then increase. And if you want to skip a track, you just double click, as you can probably hear it, and I'll skip a track. If you want to go back a track, you have to do it three times. So click, click, click. Now go back to the track. If you want to listen to the audio, um, the title, the song, then you have to hold the middle part until it actually tells you what song it is. And also, if you want to go through like a playlist or what other playlist you have, you have to hold on to it. Wait, just keep holding it. Skip. Just wait until the title of the whoever is saying it ends, and then you'll hear you'll hear a beep. And that's when you let it go, and then you could just skim through the playlist you have slash all songs. Um, the volume the volume is very good. Uh, you know, if you keep pause. If you keep going up, increasing the volume, it'll go as high as maybe you'll, you know, beat death. That's how high it is. That's how good the volume is. And also, if you want to increase, I mean, decrease, you could, you know, just keep decreasing. Um, headphones, they're the normal, you know, they're the normal iPod slash iPhone headphones. So, all you call is all right. But still, for just the iPod shuffle itself slash the headphones, it's decent. I'm very surprised by the size. It's very easy to put, put it in your pocket. You just put it in, or you can just put it as a book clip, which is very easy. Also, I don't know. There's really nothing else. I mean, 
negative, I guess. A lot of people are probably complaining about how there's no buttons on the iPod Shuffle itself. But come on, I mean, it, it's this small. I think you should be happy that it's this small. I mean, if you have a button, how how small will the button be? It's like <laughs> I could just imagine having a button and it's hard for you to push the button unless you have like a big play button. But you know, that's about it for the hardware. I mean, I'm happy with this. Um, you know, you can also you know go to Apple and have it engraved for free. Uh, for me, I just put my. I don't know if you can see that. It's so shiny. I actually have my twitter.com it has it says twitter.com slash polio that's my twitter so follow me on twitter uh, there's no space it's just polio just one word um, again uh, I actually have a giveaway to give out so I'll probably have that on the next video and don't worry I will give it away I'm not gonna like you know be stupid people that actually just you know come up with a fake one so I actually have a giveaway and it's one of my one of my accessories I use on my BlackBerry Storm or the old phone I had. So I'll keep you updated with that. Um, it's almost 6.30 so I will let you guys go. I uh, look forward to the next video and also subscribe, rate it 5 stars, and leave comments if you need any. Alright, take care. Bye.